Hey Ninbuzz, Mud here again, and this time I'm bringing you another battle against Dangerous36M, as some of you may know. So, a little bit about this battle. Um, I, we had this right when Heart Gold Soul Silver were released in Japan, and it's the English patch Japanese game that's, you know, it's like a year old, if not more. So, basically, we were just trying out a bunch of new shit, like new, new movesets. So, most of our pokes that have, you know, new movesets, like Dragonite or Honchkrow, they'll have those new moves they got in Heart Gold Soul Silver through the move tutors or, like, various egg moves and stuff. So, basically, we just decided to use whatever the hell we wanted to use. So, quick start um, his Honchkrow gets poisoned by my Babushka, and unfortunately for me, he crits me, and that'll easily take me out because of super luck, and yeah, Honchkrow is amazing. So my back out to my lead, Choice Scarf Zapdos, and since I saw that thing before, I'm gonna go for the U-turn, but ah, he has the static, and that's gonna cripple my Zapdos. And Scarfed Paralyzed Zapdos is a dead Zapdos, basically, and I'm gonna go out to my Choice Band Dragonite, so since I know he's probably gonna predict the Earthquake and go out to a Flying type or something like that can that can take the Earthquake, or you know, isn't affected by it, so I'll go for the Aqua Tail, and luckily he goes out to the Gliscor, and that's going to do a hell of a lot of damage to Gliscor. It almost knocks it out. So then, since he, he, he figures that I'm Choice Banded, so I'm stuck on Aqua Tail, and that's a free switch in for Polyrath, so he'll be able to start setting up, and I know that my Zapdos can take a couple of hits from that thing. Not much, though, because I'm not defensive, but nonetheless, I'll be able to get off a couple of Thunderfolds and break that sub and he won't be able to do too much to me, but over the long time, he, he'll be able to kill me because he's faster, he has substitute, and I'll probably get Parahax later on too. So, I'm gonna have to go, safe switch, go out to my Shaman. So, it turns out he has Encore, which is another new Heart Gold Soul Silver move. Well, back then, now it's old, I mean, black and white are already out, I mean, what the heck. Back then it was new, so we were just testing it out. So, I'm not afraid of his Gliscor anymore, because he, see, he saw that I have the Aqua Tail, so I'll go for the Earthquake, not fearing the Gliscor, and thankfully he goes out to his Ampharos, and that'll get that'll easily get killed. It's he didn't even stand a chance. So now shit is bananas, B A N A N A S. So Gwen Stefani kind of dances, and my Zapdos is gonna go for the Heat Wave. I'm not really predicting because I don't care if this thing is dead or not because it's paralyzed, which means it's basically dead. I can't do much with it anyway. So here he makes a great prediction, goes for the Focus Punch, knowing I would switch. And I go out to my Shaman, and that Focus Punch does around half to me. If not more, it does more It does more than half to me anyway, so... Anyway, he's going to be scared off by a Seed Flare. But I'm not going to risk that thing missing, because I have the Air Slash, and Air Slash would have killed that Polyrath anyway. So he goes out to his Gliscor, and that's easily killed off with the Air Slash. So I go back out to my Zapdos. I just want this thing dead, because I can't do much... I can't, I can't do anything with this thing. It's paralyzed and it's choice scarfed, so it, it has zero speed, basically. I can't outspeed anything, so it's basically dead to me. So I'll let this thing kill me off with a Night Slash. And I'll scare him off with my Arnold. And he'll go out to his Polyrath, but he'll take that dynamic punch to the face. And since I'm faster... Yeah, um, I'm not faster actually. He's able to kill me off with the waterfall. Uh, kill me off, you know. Arnold is a bulky fucker. So, that waterfall will do a decent chunk of damage. Actually, a lot of damage. Considering how bulky uh, the champ is, that waterfall is a 3 hit KO. But I get flinched the first time. But the second time, I'll be able to finish him off with the dynamic punch. Second one. So, with my leftovers, I'm about a, m around half, if not more than half. And. His Gwen Stefani will kill me off easily with an Air Slash. So, since that thing is Air Slash, it's stabbed. I know that Shaman won't be able to take one hit from that, especially at the HP it's at now. So I have the Air Slash of my own, and I get a flinch. So, since I'm a good sport, since I play, I play like a, I don't, I'm not a sore winner. I'll just go for the Seed Flare, let him do his move that maybe he wanted to do before, and he goes for the Dragon Dance, which is again another new Heart Gold Soul Silver move at the time. But with the Dragon Dance, he's not faster than me. Which Tropius with Dragon Dance, it's you know, it's it's meh at the bat best, it's meh. So I know I can safely go out to my Dragonite, and I'm just gonna go for the Outrage on his Cradily, even though I have Superpower. Outrage will probably do enough, and I don't want him switching anything in that could take that Superpower and use advantage of the Defense Drops to kill me. So that Rock Slide doesn't even do half to me, and the second Outrage will kill it off, and I get the two-turn Outrage. So I'll be confused here. And his Honchkrow is his last, so he's going to, go, going to go for the Night Slash. He's not showing off his Brave Bird right now, or at, at all in this game, I don't think. 
but I know the Snorlax can take a couple of those Night Slashes, but what do you know, guess what happens, guys? I mean, super luck, yeah, critical hit. So, Snorlax barely lives that thing, and a return won't kill it, because I think, yeah, um, I didn't exactly treat the Snorlax well. I kind of whipped it while training, and it doesn't love me, so <laughs> the return does next to not, it does next to nothing. So I'll just be able to finish it off with a safe extreme speed. Um, that was a great game. Score was 2-0. to zero. And even though I had more top tier pokes than he did, he did put a, he put up a great fight. I mean, what, I had the advantage, I guess, from the start. So you couldn't have done anything about it. So guys, check out my channel and check out my opponent's channel. We could both really use your guys' support. So guys, like this video, please, and leave a constructive comment. And I'll see all you guys later.